Give me a <laughs> Just give me a We are with Thai Faith, we are based in Ampang. We mix a lot of subgenres of metal, which include, but not limited to, hardcore style vocals with metalcore and deathcore instruments with a unique twist. Music wise, we try to make it heavier, but still listener friendly. Lyric wise, I'm fluent in German, you can hear it Japanese. So basically, we mix in languages into our lyrics, which include English. German and Japanese. Before joining the band, I started doing a small scale business designing and selling items like badges, clothes, tags, and four years back. But it wasn't very active. I had to juggle it with my studies as well. Ever since I met Aiden and joined the band though, my creativity really perks up. The business really is rising. I'm just glad we met. No, it's just you. We get our inspiration for designs by basically things around us. We would walk around and she'd go like, ah, and sugoi, at stuff. She has crazy ideas, like those ones, I think, you saw a cat. Yeah, and she wanted to sing about cats. That's just weird. But others are just so crazy, they are actually good. Actually, that applies to the band too. Before Mikan joined, we weren't really progressing much. But now that she's here, a lot of things have really sped up. Hmm, we plan to release an EP in the future. After our newly released song, The End, two days ago, hits 100 likes on YouTube. We also plan to collaborate with other artists in one of our future songs. Recently, I'm thinking of doing comics but actually I'm already drawing several pages and character designs let's see how it is in the future then as for the business we just recently moved it online we hope we can gather more customers that way and further widen the business It's hard to live with ADHD actually. Some might be oblivious in all their hyper hyperness, like I did. Since when? Mm -hmm. <sharp inhale> but people like me, you become scared of what people might think of you. The first time we met, I waited for two hours to just say hi to him. <laughs> you become anxious, uh, you're scared, you might annoy someone, you end up not communicating at all. Socially crippled. I can't last a month at work. I developed a sense of low self-esteem where I couldn't even call the waiter at a restaurant. <laughs> there was once she wouldn't even come out of the room for 4 days straight. She had no friends. <laughs> Not even to eat. Shut up lah. Before I was clinically diagnosed by a specialist, I didn't really understand what's going on. I thought that what I was doing was normal. ADHD has affected me in a lot of ways. Uh, for example, it was hard for me to make friends. In conversations, I cannot stay on topic long. I would just budge into conversations. Teachers didn't really like me mainly because I have problems completing homework, assignments, even if I did well in my exams. Paying attention in class was almost impossible. I also have problems focusing on tasks given to me. My life was pretty much a mess.
Five years ago, playing guitar was a start for me in finding ways to control my chaotic mind. I found myself at home with music and has never really stopped playing since then. I also tried to occupy myself with sports. I used to enter a lot of wushu competitions. I won several medals for the National Junior Wushu Competition from years 2010 to 2012. But recently, I suffered a knee injury which made me switch to Kendo. It's a sport, sport that trains your patience and focus and doesn't really strain my knee as much, so it's really helping. I read thrillers, uh, I fantasize horror. Oh, and I draw. I draw a lot. It helps clear my mind and control my decisions. From there, I try to take less and less medications to control ADHD. I think sometimes it's better to unleash your true self and your wild imaginations. You never know where they might take you. True, true. You struggle in doing things and ADHD people are dangerously curious, hyperactive and impulsive. But if you know how to work it, you'll achieve something great. Just look at all those famous people, Abraham Lincoln, Isaac Newton, Leonardo da Vinci, Benjamin Franklin, and Albert Einstein. They all have ADHD. Basically, ADHD can be the cause of every failure, but if you put your curiosity and crazy ideas at the right place, it can be a key to all your success. We're well aware that chronic ADHD cases fall under OKU category. But the key point is to never think of yourself as orang kurang upaya. Instead, we always say that we're orang, orang lebih upaya. upaya. She taught me that. <laughs> it's your auditory difference, eh? quoted, nothing is true, everything is permitted. It means doubt others, judgement, believe in yourself, and do what needs to be done, and do what you want to do. Isn't that from Assassin's Creed? Abu Well, with that being said, Unter Stunzen CB10. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs>
then hit the subscribe button. A message will be forwarded to you. Confirm the message and you are good to go.